Wednesday, it's me. And today we're checking out some good old design fails. You know what sounds like a good idea until you actually do it? A yellow bath bomb. A bath bomb or bathtub full of piss? That would be a lot of piss though. I'm just gonna say it's lemon lime Gatorade. More believable. I wouldn't even want to get in at this point. They got these two swing sets right next to each other. If you put swings next to each other, they should be facing like this so you can like, but these are facing like this so you can just like, <laughs> what if you like keep your feet out? Somebody gonna get kicked in the coochie and it's not gonna be me. This is a disaster waiting to happen. They put a vent on a wall. Why? You know, it's supposed to go behind a hole so, you know, a vent can <laughs> ventilate. Well, it's not for show. Who installed this? Why is it just on a wall? Eh, my IC is not working. I don't know, check the vent. Oh, it appears the vent is just screwed onto the wall. I hate this. Words cannot express how much I hate this. Because this is like a real thing. I know exactly how to deal with one of those. You have to like push the handle so it's down and then close the door. Oh wait, then it like gets stuck. No, this is just a whole mess. They installed the handle upside down. It should be facing the other way. But now you can't close the door because the handle is in the way. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Why did they do this? They put an ATM on a ledge. So you have to climb up and then take a big step. Then when you finally get to the ATM, you have to squat down next to it and put in your pin. Why? Was this made for children to deposit their Robux? I feel like everybody has one of these soap holders that you can't put the soap in because it literally doesn't hold the soap. It just slips right off. So what's the point? Is there another use for this? Perhaps a little handle to help get you out of the bath? Nothing stays in this. You know, what a wonderful idea. We're gonna call our store closed. So, are you guys open? No, we're closed. They had to put a sign on the door that says, welcome, we are open. But it says in big letters that you're closed. <laughs> That's the name of the store. Imagine having to explain that to everybody. Get rid of the C and the D and make it lose. Cause this is how you lose customers. <laughs> I have drawers like this. You can only open one and you can only open it halfway before the other gets in the way. And then you have to close it before you decide to open the other. And same with the two doors on the bottom. Imagine working in cabinets and not knowing how a corner works. Shouldn't you be prepared for these things? No, you know, I can't open my cabinet and open my microwave at the same time. I have to close the cabinet and then I open my microwave. Scuffed. And I spent a lot of money on my house to have to deal with that inconvenience. They were messing with the radio too much and this car popped up a little warning. Taking your eyes off the road too long or too often could cause a crash, resulting in injury or death to you or others. Focus attention on driving. <laughs> You know what? That's why I'm gonna pop up a random paragraph on the screen in the middle of driving so that the person driving gets distracted and starts reading. What's this weird alert on my car? It's like you want me to die. You want me to crash. What car is this? Kia Soul? I would crash myself too if I was a box car. This bag looks like there is a knife in it, but there isn't. It's literally just imprinted on the leather of the bag. This is the perfect bag to wear to the airport. So you can get stopped every five seconds like, ma'am, what you got in your bag? They gonna be like ripping it apart, trying to find a knife when the knife doesn't even exist. It's kind of fun to mess with people. How old are you? 10 to 15, 16 to 20, 21 to 25, 26 to 30. Hey, what happened to 31, 2, 3, 4? Do those numbers just not exist? Are you not allowed to take the survey? If you are any of those ages. Also, why are there so many options and there's missing numbers? You guys are oddly specific and stupid for missing some numbers. This is Kim K's sink. And at first glance, you would think it's a design fail. Like, oh, you turn on the water and then there's no bowl for the sink. Like it just goes everywhere. So there's the little hole where it's supposed to drain. And I think that is a pretty decent sized drain hole. You could probably get away with a fistful of hair going down that bad boy. So basically how it works is like the countertop is slightly indented where the water is supposed to go. But still, it's like weird. You're rich. Did you just buy a normal sink? This is the most narrow bathroom I have ever seen. It is just wide enough to fit a mini toilet. Is there even space to put the lid down? Also, you have to like reverse into it and then walk straight out of it. There's not even space for your shoulders to like turn around or you can go in sideways. I feel like there's a good possibility some people can get stuck. They will get stuck walking into this and not make it to the toilet and might have to pee at the door. <laughs> like why make the hallway so long if the room is so narrow? You had one job. Put the handle of the mug on the outside of the mug because you know when you drink from a mug, you hold the handle. And if it's on the inside of the mug, there is no reason to even exist. Just die. Break it. Smash it into pieces. Useless. A bit harsh. 
Why would they do Pikachu like that? Who put him together? The ears are supposed to go here and the tail's supposed to go there. They reversed them. Like you had one job. <laughs> the person putting him together. What's a Pikachu? This is how I imagine a thunder rat to look like. Oh no, Wonder Woman, what have they done to you? Made her into a pair of scissors. Who thought this was a good idea? <gasps> Wonder Woman scissors and like her legs open up with the handle? No, y'all did her dirty with this. But can she coochie cut the cardboard? <laughs> Whoever put up this display, you did a great job. I love this. Finally, a product I will buy. I guess they weren't supposed to put them like just right up against each other. It's like using that filter that like mirrors half of your face and then you realize how not symmetrical your face is. Hurts. <laughs> In this bathroom, they decided to put the dryers six feet up in the air. You know, if you can't reach it, you don't deserve to dry your hands. I don't make the rules around here. What are all the short kings gonna do? I don't understand why it's so high up. There's plenty of space on the wall to put it lower. Okay. You know, the perfect place to put a slide. On the roof of a building. You know, this is the park you take your kids when you don't want kids anymore. You slide down, it'll be your final wee. No more wee after that. Last few moments of agonizing pain. Was it worth the fun ride? Probably not. At this Taco Bell, they got the lover's restroom. You know, when you're in high school and you're just so in love with your significant other, like can't even spend two seconds apart. They made a bathroom for you. This is from Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. Perhaps Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. The bathroom for you. He stands while she sits. I was gonna say something else. Whoever is sitting gets a nice view of the person standing. <sighs> I can't do this today. Do not enter. Wait, enter only. What do I do? Can I go through here or not? Will the door open or no? Guess I'm just going to wait in the lobby until somebody opens the door. They put a whole entire balcony on this building, but no window. Where's the window? Where's the door to go out on the balcony? How will I use this balcony that they spent thousands of dollars building? You have to like dangle off the top one and drop to the second one, but then there's no way to get back up and you're stuck. What now? Yeah, I love funnel cakes. But why does this look like dookie? It even has little squiggles like it smells bad. That's not a funnel cake. That's a dookie cake on a plate. Oh, they got this plushie at a dentist's office. Nemo with a whole mouth of adult teeth. And this is supposed to teach kids about proper dental care. Like, ooh, the scary fish with a mouthful of teeth brushes his teeth. You should too. I would be terrified. Bike lane and... It's here, right here, just on the curb. It's like a bike trail to your death. How they just gonna end it like that? I mean, whoever did this sure must not like the bicyclists. Is that what they're called, bicyclists? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. My camera keeps going out of focus. Like there's something behind me. Who's behind me? Hello, Mr. Ghost, I am trying to work. Thank you. This house has two front doors. I had them all together and it's really four doors. Pretty cool, must be quite the grand entrance, right? And then you walk inside, you got the fancy stairs. Why is there another door? I would like to have a word with the idiots who built this house. Like, oh no, we put in the wrong door. Instead of moving the door so there's only one door, let's just buy a whole other door to put right next to it. On whose budget was this idiotic decision made? This is very badly designed. Also, when you like open the door, it's gonna hit the stairs. Who designed this house? Speaking of bad stairs, we got this one. Like you come up the stairs and then there's another staircase that you have to like jump on. Also, there is a 99% chance that you will trip and fall. A very painful shortcut. These stairs be handing out twisted ankles like free frosties. Don't you just love when you turn on the water and then the ball is too short for the faucet. You just barely missed it, bro. It's kind of sitting on the edge. Like, who installed this? You didn't like test it, turn on the water. Y'all ordered a sink too short. Not my problem. You know, you can actually buy a secret firewood safe. It looks like firewood, but it is a secret safe where you can put all your valuables and money. Make sure everybody knows that that's firewood, which is flammable if your house sets on fire. It's a horrible idea. What if somebody like chucks it into the fireplace without knowing like, ooh, I found some more firewood. Or your house sets on fire, the wood is the first to go and everything in it, all the money and valuables in it burnt to a crisp. You check into a hotel. So do you guys have like a hotel lobby or something where I can like chill, do my work? Yeah, it's up there. Why is it up there? Why are there seats up there? How do you even get up there? I hope you know parkour. Otherwise you can't use your hotel lobby, idiot. Well then, at least it's probably clean up there. A little dusty, but probably no piss stains on the couch. Wait a second. They made this ad for this toy piano. And like the girl is facing the mirror. Who's the other 
second one. They both look at me in the eye. Ugh. Be gone, demon child. They just forgot to edit her face in the mirror. She's definitely not supposed to be looking at me. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to Join the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.